We cannot remain a place where people pull rocks out of the ground, which others then turn into high-tech products and sell back to us. It is not sustainable. It's simple and clear. This will take a lot of time and effort. But Africa can do it. In everything we do, good governance and politics play a very important role. The more united Africa is, the more productive our engagement with partners will be. Integration for Africa business uh, is an opportunity to grow our market and become more competitive. Africa does not have to ask it for a seat at the table. At this century, progress progresses. Africa will increasingly be one of the world's economy in engineers. But to become truly uh, prosperous, we have to upgrade our mindsets and aim for quality. For quality, we must transform our raw material into higher quality products and sell them back to ourselves. It may not be sustainable, but it's simply, uh, it's simple and clear. This word said by President Paul Kagame. So brothers and sisters, I want you to watch this video. Full then, let me know your thought in the comment section. Over the years, what has become clearer is that our common challenges can be solved if we work together. For our continent, it is equally important to build the capacity to respond swiftly and efficiently to any challenge and bounce back. For example, that's why we established the Africa continental free trade area. The rationale is that we have the resources, but we need to be able to share them among us, ourselves. Here I also want to add that the more united Africa is, the more productive our engagement with the partners will become. Integration for Africa's business community is an opportunity to grow our markets and become more competitive. Africa does not have to ask for a seat at the table. I want to agree with most of the points made by area speakers. And I understand their frustration. We share the same. Today, almost 20% of the world is African. By the year 2050, it will be 25%. Soon enough, the only middle class in the world that will still be growing is Africa's. As this century progresses, Africa will increasingly be one of the world's economic engines. But to become truly prosperous, we have to upgrade our mindsets and aim for quality and complexity in our value chains. We cannot remain a place 
where people pull rocks out of the ground, which others then turn into high-tech products and sell back to us. It is not sustainable. It's simple and clear. This will take a lot of time and effort. But Africa can do it. In everything we do, good governance and politics play a very important role. Having the solution is not enough. The willingness to find a middle ground and not let unnecessary levels of bureaucracy get in the way can make things work better and faster. We also need to challenge the, test, the status quo across all areas, whether it is in a business, politics, or civil society. Anything that can be done anywhere in this world can also be done in Africa. And why don't we just do that? Once again, thank you all for coming to Kigali. I hope you will enjoy your stay with us and come back again and again. My simple but very important task, therefore, this morning was to welcome you and thank you, and we are happy to work with you. Thank you.